Let's check the UV tools. So if I click add clusters, it will create uh, UV shells, UV islands across uh, the mesh. Not super useful, it's a bit random. The next tool is the Max Sims tool. You click on individual edge and it will create a seam or another thing you can do. If you press shift, you can cut the whole thing across and then I'll go to the top of the column, press shift and cut that segment out. It automatically will try to order unwrap it. Then here I want to cut the cylinder and what I want to click is stop edge loop at the seam. So press shift, get it. And you can see again, it automatically can wrap it to a flat uh, plane. And if I press control shift, I will uh, destroy the edge loop. So shift, control shift, pretty easy and intuitive. The edge loop, it's kind of just makes picking edge loops easier, but really the same functionality as Mark seems. There's really not much to say. UV path, is quite an amazing tool because it allows you to go through the triangulated meshes uh, and it will automatically try to find uh, and connect two dots together even if it's not a code based mesh which is making it so much easier to edit you can run it on a triangulated mesh on any type of mesh i can if i drag this guy i will kind of restructure it uh, if i Right click it, right click on it, it will get it removed. So I finish the circle, then if I press enter, it will create a shell. So now we have two shells. And then we have a join clusters button. And if I click on this, it will pretty much just uh, join the UV shells together.